Mr. Direwolf, I think it is time for episode 24. 24? Already? I know. Hey, I set up some cool stuff. Time flies when you're doing quests. I know, it's really cool. But before you get um, into that, get into we, that. Have, we left a teaser from last episode. We have some bags to open. Oh, right. We have a bag to open, and I know that everyone is dying to see the terrible junk that we get in this bag. I bet you're going to get a boat, a fish, or a piece of paper. You were extremely close. I got a fishing rod. <laughs> Did you get the TNT one? Yeah. One that I'm not going to use on this map. I got lettuce, corn, and blackberries. Cool. So, yeah, I did some cool stuff. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I automated this with AE, so it keeps um, coal in uh, this guy, because coal breaks down into the potentia and ignis that you need. Um, and for now, because I'm making alimentum, I'm piping in coal into the top of this thing, which is like the you know reactionary component thing for alimentum. And then uh, I've got cobblestone going into here. And as you can see, cobblestone breaks down into Perdito, which is the one on the bottom here, the lightning bolt, and Saxum, which is the very top one that's going and draining into the void jar of Saxum there. Nice. Yeah, so long story short, uh, we're going to get tons of Elementum from this. Right now I'm feeding Elementum into these guys, but I also have, watch your feet, uh, an export bus down here that feeds coal, so that if we do run out of Elementum in here, if I forget to refill it, um, it'll just start putting coal in. The only difference is Elementum it makes it process faster. So if coal's in there, it's a little bit slower, but who cares, to be honest. But now we have some good Elementum, which, by the way, is a really good fu uh, fuel source. I don't know if you know this, but it's like four times as powerful as coal in a regular furnace. I think it's how much it is, four times maybe. So it's a good, uh, it's a good burning process thing. Um, so all that was so that I would have a lot of Nitor so that I could get started on my quest for your wizard, Steve. So I need to get 16 animation cores, um, 16 of harvest and 16 of, um, gather. So that sounds like a bit of a pain in the butt. What do you got working on? I am working on, let's get the quest name, genetic control. So I'm making a genetic sampler and a genetic imprinter, which are just simple crafting recipes. Fun. Uh, I also need to get arcane lamp, lamp of growth, and lamp of fertility. Lamp of fertility, I'm going to need eight victus and five granum. Let's see if I can manage to get that. Oh, there's eight a second victus. part. Second part. Am I already out of water? I am out of water already. Oh my goodness, I hate this. All right, I'm gonna have to get a couple more nodes. I only have three more aura nodes left. Oh, that's terrible. All Getting a lot of not per detail, by the way. Should really put my last aura node. Because snow biomes have a better chance of per detail. Ah, per detail. How's it going? Good to see you. And I'll move this guy later. Oh, it's an unstable node, too. Watch out. All right, so that should be enough then for my eight. Victus. Granum, of course, needs Victus, so I need a little bit more Granum than I have. One, two, one. Oh, am I really Once short again, by water by one? By <laughs> I am short by one Aqua for what I need to do. All right, guys, I'll be back in a few minutes once I figure out. Um, I mean, if I make a water crystal. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is hilarious. So remember when we got all those Elviary bags? Yeah. Some of them are actually used in a quest. Elviary bags? The Like the uh, Elviary lighting, the Elviary, and the Elviary housing. Oh. So yeah, so I just need an alveary heater know. and an alveary fan. Let's see how bad those are. I have to remember how to craft crystal clusters. Oh, it's just six in a crafting window like that. Okay. Hooray, that got me some water research. Nice. 
I'm gonna plant this dude right here so that he helps fuel my research points. Okay. So one more of you, and then I should be able to. Hey, uh, hey. do you know how to pronounce this block? I'm having problems. Uh, what's it called? It would do well it if you came well. over here and just checked it out. <laughs> uh, which one? The thermionic fabricator? Oh, you did well. I are smart. All right, so what I need to do, Pahimar, is get ready to do a bunch of crafting. So do you want to come back in a minute when I'm ready to do that? And we can Sounds hopefully good. bang Sounds out this good. next quest. All right, cool. Back in a minute, guys. All right, Pahimar, what do you got for me? Well, remember how, how said, remember how I said um, uh... from the earlier Alviary bag rewards we got? So mm, I was actually... No, I, was actually... I just said it like two minutes ago. Oh, all that stuff, yeah. You never listen to me. That's true. So from that, we were actually able to, I thought it was funny, the quest, re quest rewards actually allowed us to hand in the alviaries quest at the Bees and Trees. Oh, cool. All right. So do you want me to choose alviaries or do you want a reward bag? Check, uh, take the alviary for right now because we don't have a source of royal jelly. All right. Well, that's probably a good thing. So I'm going to throw my alviary, my tropical princess and drone, and my honeycombs in here. Okay. So that's it. So now that's I just it. need now to I make some frames. It. Yeah, so still just plugging away on bees and trees. Bees and trees. Untreated frames are easy, and pregnated frames, I want to say you're going to need some seed oil for. Yeah, we got seed oil. That's easy enough, that's to, easy do. enough to do. And soul frames, I believe you just need some soul sand, so that should be easy to do. Yeah, this shouldn't be yeah, too bad. Should... Yeah, and the gene manipulation one should be easy too. Those are pretty basic recipes, if I remember correctly. I am cooking up some clay. Yeah, the genetic control I quest, need... I need an empty serum, which requires me to have royal jelly. Oh, fun. So the first thing I'm working on, by the way, for this is the quest where I need to get... Uh, you're a wizard, Steve. Uh, 16 animation cores of gather and harvest. Uh, or actually, that was harvest and gather. So I'm going to need 16 blank on animation cores for this one, and I need uh, 16 blank animation cores for this one. So all told... We're going to need uh, 32 blank animation cores, so that's why I'm cooking up some more brick. Nice. Just got the last of the brick I need, so that will get me this and this. And am I wearing my V discount stuff? I am. That's good. Um, so, wow, that's going to be expensive. Insufficient V. Of course not. Uh, so I need some more fire and aqua. I need a lot of stuff. So give me a minute here, guys. I have a lot of wand recharging to do. I'm probably going to have to fly into the void to get some stuff, too, because I don't know if I have enough up here. We'll be right back. Hey, Fahamar. I am getting ready to craft this cool stuff. I actually found something very useful for this. Nice. I am getting ready to make an alviary. Cool. So I discovered that, for example, I need to get 16 of these uh, gathering cores. Well, you need 5 terra and 5 lucrum. Well, compressed dirt is 10 terra, and a gold block is 10 lucrum. So for each gold block and compressed dirt, I can make two of these. So one, 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 two. Perfect. One, 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 two. And the only excess is a little bit of iron. So this is actually really, really useful. And I'll just clean this out every now and then with a shift click on my wand. And we've got junk aspects everywhere, but that's okay. I don't mind. And then the uh, automatic fluid cell thingy. Uh, did we determine if fluid cells only use power when they're actually exporting stuff instead of when they're not? I couldn't tell you. Oh, there's the elevator. I was trying to figure out why it was taking so long to validate. I should really, one of these days, figure out how many aspects is too many aspects. Now this thing export liquid faster than it is at the moment. Or so I think. Okay, so the last set. All 
All right, so that's not too bad. Now the next one is a little less friendly. Oh yeah, I was oh, yeah. almost ready to hand in a quest. Were you? Yeah, let me just Because check. unfortunately, these items don't stack. Oh, oh yeah, oh, I got my yeah, untreated got right. frame, my impregnated frame, and I'm about to make a soul frame. Oh, and that actually was the end of the quest. Nice. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm going to take the right bag. It's Which one is this now? Greater bag. And I got a spiked sword. It is... Work harder. Oh, okay. Cool. Let me uh, grab that real quick. Work harder from bees, right? Yep. Man, we're plowing through the bees quests. Yeah, we're 50% yeah, done now. Which one did you get left? Uh, I took the right one. Well, I took the left one, and I got a greater bag. I'm just putting all the bees stuff that I get in the AE system, by the way. That's fine. That's where I've been putting them. Um, I don't even have the inventory at the moment to open up this bag, so I'll open it in a minute. Uh, let's see. So I need... Cool. All right. Cruising along, guys. I have a big old mess here. I guess we'll be back in a minute after I finish crafting. Sounds good. Alright guys, real quick, I need to make 32 arcane lamps because I need to get 16 lamps of growth and 16 lamps of fertility. So, I'm going to need 32 arcane lamps because each of these guys uh, require an arcane lamp to get uh, started. So, this is going to be really painful. Back in a few. So, Direwolf, I've done a bit of bee setup, if you're up for seeing a that. A bee setup, you say? Yeah, i got some things up here. It's no, not expert at all, but... Let's take a look. Ooh, I see you've got some aviaries. Nice. Yeah, and I've set up the industrial apiary. This I'm not uh, familiar with. This is from Gendustry. Gen I think that we're okay. probably going to want a bunch of these, up. because apparently uh, cool. we can actually have these things hook up directly to AE and uh, item ducts and whatnot. And there's these okay. upgrades in here to actually make the environment uh, satisfactory for the queen. Oh, okay. So it doesn't matter what the environment is that you place the... Uh, the, the alveari in it'll just be good regardless. as long as like, you got the appropriate upgrades, upgrades. Nice. like how the alvearies like have heaters and fans and stuff like that nice so, so it's basically just a powered alveary yep it takes, yeah, it takes rf neat so and then i, so, uh, then I made I, us uh, an extra crafting terminal because we're we've just been storing our bees in the ae system yes correct so I've got these three hives here. I've never, well, I think I've done modest before, but I've never seen what's inside a curious hive or a unusual hive. Okay. I'm pretty sure those are the magic bees ones. Yeah. The two on the right are definitely magic bees. I, now that I think of it, I've definitely done modest. Okay. Yeah. Modest should be the desert bee. So I got mystical princess and drone as well as modest oh, drone modest. and princess. Okay. And unusual. I wonder okay. if I got some honey drops. I can have a look and see what they do. Alright, let's see. Let's check out unusual first. So, they have a shorter lifespan, slowest speed, slowest pollen, flowers, two drones, large area of effect. Uh, they can actually tolerate quite the temperature difference. Uh, they are dineural, and they are flyer. Let's see what else they produce. Yep. Uh, so that's that. Let's look at mystical. Shorter, slowest, slowest flowers. Nothing really of note for the mystical. So you've got this thing just going to power, right? All right, cool. I'm just checking out your yeah. forest queen, your industrial apiary. That looks neat. So that's Gendistry, you said? I'm curious what else is available in Gendistry. Uh, apparently, uh, apparently, a lot of serum, so we can just like make the bee however we yeah. want it. Nice. I'll take that. 
So I do see some production upgrades, all right. More production, longer lifespan. Oh, flowering and pollination. We could use that because I want more flowers. Yoink, stealing I flowers. Those. I need those. Nope, oh, my flower now. Okay, I'll just get another one out of the AE system. Those aren't right, ones that were... Ones that were... Oh, here's oh. a new one, though. Yeah, they should be spawning, like, on the grass near here. So make sure to yeah, have as much grass slow. around here as you can. Yeah, no, it will take a bit. Um, but, yeah, I'm taking a look at some of the upgrades you can put in there. There's a lot of good ones. Light upgrade, open sky upgrade. That's neat. A bunch of upgrades for, basically, the different types of environments they need. Genetic stabilizer upgrade. That's cool. I like it. Flowering upgrade. Wow. Looks pretty good. I wonder if this Life's is bad. Bad. Make it up 33%. Not active, not, not active, daytime. Not day oh, yeah. Yeah, it needs to be... Uh, these bees can only work during the day. Well, they're just... So, they're you, wanna, just you want me to sleep through the night? I think we both need to. we both need to. Well, you could log off. Well, there's that, well, but there's that. we are recording, so I'll just make another bed. bed. Okay, you do that. I'm gonna go sleep in this bed that's in the house that we haven't visited in a while. Yeah, I was in there yeah, not long ago because I died. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot you died. Yeah, I don't know why I said that. All right, I'm in bed. gonna bug me about it. <laughs> All right, I'm almost ready to start with my crazy amount of work I need to do. Um, do you want to come back in a few minutes here? Once I sleep. Yeah, let's come back in a few minutes. All right. Cool. So I've had my first What's generation of bees go through. Oh, nice. Did you get common? Uh, I got a common drone, and I bred it with a princess, a meadows queen. And we'll see okay, good. what we get with that, because okay. I really don't know. I know you've done a Punnett Square, like, many times before, but, you yeah, know, we'll see what happens. I just want to get to Imperial so I get some royal jelly, so I can start really using this gendistry stuff. Cool. But since bees are slow, I'm going to get started on some more of the steel-powered quests. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So we yeah. have, I'm trying uh, to figure out where I get fire shards from. I guess it's obsidian? Would that be fire shards? Sandstone might give me... I'm going to try obsidian. Is it netherrack? Or nether brick? Was netherrack something that we get some stuff from? Uh, the blocks are obsidian, TNT, ice, grass... Sandstone slabs and netherrack. Oh, you're right. It probably is netherrack. Just gonna toss this in here. I didn't. I was hoping it wasn't obsidian because that would have been bad. And people who are watching my video right now might have noticed I have a lot of something in my inventory. I'm glad that you set up an egg farm, Bahamar. Oh. Yeah. You know why? Why is that? Well, because one of the things I have to make for this quest is the Lamp of Fertility, which needs Bestia, Granum, and Victus. Victus is actually really hard to come by on items, um, but one of the sources is eggs, which have Bestia, Victus, and Granum. So actually an egg is all you need uh, to get your uh, awesome nifty little gadget here that we need to get, which is the Lamp of Fertility. Now the Lamp of Growth is a different story. We're going to need some more stuff for Lamps of Growth, uh, but Victus is one of them, so I'm going to need eggs anyway. So we'll, we'll keep that kind of process going. Uh, did I get zero fire? Oh, I got four. Okay, well that that's cool then. All right, so let me grab another stack. Of another. I only did half a stack and I got four of them, so that's not too shabby. But I think that might be... Yeah, I only need two more. That should be good. I think we're pretty much there. Luckily, we've got Fortune 3 on this Diamond Hammer, so... I'll come back to this in a minute. So I'm just gathering the items I need, guys, to get um, pretty much what we need here. So the last things we need for Lamp of Fertility are carrots and wheat and gold. All right, I think I'm ready to do my Lamp of Fertility. Do you want to come see the first crafting of the Lamp of Fertility here? Just a second. Okay. I'm so I'm throwing stuff. eggs into here. Why are you futzing? You shouldn't be complaining about nothing. 
You guys aren't actually connected to anything, so you shouldn't be complaining. Oh, uh, that's why. I understand now. Okay, well, I'll let this thing boil up and I'll get some labels. While you do that, I'm about to make a jetpack. Yeah? What kind of jetpack? A leadstone jetpack. Oh, fancy. So I've actually got two quests from the Steel Series ready to hand in. Already? Yeah, I'm quick. Yeah, I'm quick. Yeah, seriously, no joking. So, so. let's see, Three Mile Island had me make yellorium dust and a right. graphite bar. Graphite's made just by smelting coal. And yellorium is sulfur, sulfur and pulverized tin. So for that we get a... Uh, is rutile ore any good? I have no idea. I don't even know what it uranium. is. Leather, uranium. Let's see if we got that. Yeah, we got loads of that. Uh, plutonium. Yellorium dust is really easy to make, so I'm going to take a Blutonium ingots. Okay. I got a good bag from that. And I got more pork got oysters. Just... Nice. I think I'm ready to make my first lamp of fertility. Two fire, two gold, wheat and carrot. So let's see here. While you do that, I'll hand in my let's uh, my jet pack one. Ooh, steam turbines, redstone thrusters are bad. All right. Hopefully, you can pull from that distance. You should be able to. Is that too far away? No, no it's not. not. That's good. Nice. Nice. I wasn't sure if it would. I thought that might be a little bit of a long distance, but no, it's working. That is awesome. Go, Beastia, go. And it's one of each, so that's not bad at all. All right, so I have to do this 15 more times, guys. I know. You're excited. Should I do all 15 on camera for Pahamar? Probably not. Oh, okay. So I guess we'll be back in a few minutes. Well, unless you want to pick your reward from the jetpack quest. I could probably do that. Let me put away some junk that I don't need in my inventory at the moment. Did I get the thing? Hey, I got my first thing. One lamp of fertility down, 15 to go. It's actually not too bad once I found out that eggs were the perfect source of Victus. Uh, which quest am I handing in? Steel? Yep. Yep. Uh, the jetpack, up, up, and away? Yep. Uh, did I want a redstone thruster or a steam turbine or a reward bag? Uh, both of the both of the items are fairly easy to craft, so I'd say bag. Okie dokie. Well, I got two greater bags. As did I. I had some. One was a mysterious magnet. I got a steadfast and one was beef jerky. Mysterious magnet and beef jerky. And another jetpack. And another... Oh, cool. So you got two jetpacks now, and you're complaining about me being able to fly? Well, this well, one is a potato. It's a potato jetpack? Let's see if I can get it to go. Oh, it's a level 8 magnet, too. That's pretty good. Here oh, we go. Boy. Here we go. <laughs> you heard it? You heard I it. did, yeah. And then Three Mile Island. Uh, which one did you recommend I claim from that? Uh, I took the uh, plutonium. Okay. That's what I'll take, too. And I will never object to more hearts. And a good bag with a potion flask with instant health 4. Nice. Alright, back to this process, guys. So uh, what I'm doing here, fire shards and gold. And I guess we'll be back in about 10 minutes or oh, so after oh, I craft a bunch of these. What, we're done again? I got another quest. 
<laughs> deep tank. Already? Deep tank. Deep tank, huh? I got diamond horse armor. Did you? And this is again from, okay, cool. Claim reward. Yeah, now all they need to do is do reactor warm up and steam room. I got spaghetti and meatballs. Will that help with your questing, sir? No, we're are not. Are you done with that already? Valid. Okay. Cool. All right, I guess we'll be back in a few minutes here, guys. We have a few more bits of this stuff to do. It looks like you've been busy over there, Mr. Direwolf. Oh, this is painful. How painful is it? Well, it's not like the worst thing I've ever had to do, but it's definitely not fun. Um, it's just it's just a lot of repetitive waiting for this thing to run, making sure those eggs can stacked up in here and everything, you know, that kind of stuff. Went in and threw a hopper on here just to make sure we had plenty of eggs. Um, turn these guys into void jars, that kind of thing. So, it's slow going, but at least I have all the resources I need at this point. It's just a matter of crafting it all. So I'll probably wrap this up between this episode and next. Sounds like I, a good yeah, plan. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're pretty close to wrapping up this episode, aren't we? Yeah, we definitely yeah. are. Yeah. Um, what have you been working on? More of that steelwork stuff, or are you just doing what? I'm checking in on the bees, because we just had the last generation uh, switch over. But yeah, it looks like I actually need to set myself up a... Uh, did we hand in deep controller? Yeah, did we hand in deep tank? Did I get you to do that one? Yes, I handed that in, yes. Okay. okay. So I started working on steam room, uh, so it was pretty easy to make okay. a steam turbine. But for turbine housing, we need something called cyanite. Yeah. And that is a byproduct of the big reactor. So between this time and next time, I'm going to have to figure out how to set up a big reactor. Well, figure it out, but don't do it. We should do it on camera. So oh, yes. Yes, see. obviously. Oh, yeah, he says obviously, but, you know. I need to make sure. It's Pahimar we're dealing with here. Hey. A.K.A. Hey. Pahi Noob. Dire derp over here. Yeah. What's up? At least you own it. It's true. Oh, I did lose one of my uh, fire shards to a little bit of a explosion, by the way. So I'm I'm halfway done. With that ah. I wondered what that, that was. That kind of thing that happens. Was. Yeah, that kind of thing happens. Uh, there's instability chances with this thing, and you have to occasionally it'll knock off the item from one of the pedestals or destroy the item from one of the pedestals, and you just have to put it back on. A good trick, by the way, that a couple people have mentioned is if you just put um ah see like that. There we go. And uh, when that instability occurs, it usually requires a little bit of extra um, essentia to keep the process going. A good trip that people have told me, because these are all inventories with one slot available, basically, you can put hoppers on them. Yeah, heads will help with uh, instability. I know things. I know things. I'm pretty impressed. Crystal clusters will too if you have some of those, which I could make right now, but again, I'm being lazy. One thing that always gets me with the, um, I love the sound mufflers, but whenever I expect to hear sound effects from something and I don't hear it, it just like messes with me. So the fact that I'm not hearing the sound effects of this matrix is definitely derpy-ish. I just got shocked. Yeah, one of the other bad side effects is that players get zapped. Alright, dudes, what do you say? Should we wrap up the episode here? I think that's a good point. Yeah, I'll come back next episode, guys. What I'm going to do is um, I'll wind up just crafting this, um, basically the same thing you've been seeing for the last couple minutes now as this has been running, and then I need to work on this guy, the lamps of growth. So that's going to need some earth shards, which I believe I need grass for, and that's not going to be any fun at all. But we have plenty of grass upstairs, I guess. So I'll just kind of clear that out and replace it with dirt. Um, and then we're going to need gold and bone meal. Herba is pretty easy. As a matter of fact, we've got a bunch of herba files from one of our you know, processes. And then uh, the other thing we need is lux, which is obviously easy with glowstone or torches you can use. Um, so I think overall, this shouldn't be too hard of a process. I'm just going to be repeating exactly what I've been doing here with that stuff. Why are you, like, not running? Oh, okay, we're out of eggs. All right, so other important thing. 
Keep yourselves stocked with eggs. Don't do that. Eggs. I'm glad we found what we use for all these heads I've been getting. Yeah. I mean, it's Get just a few. <laughs> All right, guys, so uh, we'll be back next episode when we're ready to finish this whole process up, and then we can probably hand in this quest when I when I finish this. Sounds good. All right, guys, for now, Daryl20 and Pahamar, signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Ack. Take it easy. Take it easy, guys.